everybody, it's me, Mega Man Fan. Today we're going to take a look at my buddy Aaron Winnie's store called Winnie's Vintage Emporium. Winnie's Vintage Emporium is located on 3022 West 4th Street and uh, he sells a variety of action figures from the 70s, 80s, 90s, today and even earlier than that along with video games. And I just wanted to showcase this store because not a lot of people uh, no, this is a video game store, an action figure store, because it used to be an antique store. Um, if you try to get here, uh, this is uh, West 4th Street here, and that's the Williamsport High School there. Coming from the Williamsport High School, like we're walking, I'm walking towards it, but that's this is whole West 4th Street. Walking from it, you can see, you'll see a giant Skeletor. And right here is the building and the road beside it. Now you just walk, you can walk up and then you'll see the mayor, the scratch disc repair and the uh, uh, we're open sign and the toy sign. Look for the Thundercats toy flag and that normally means he's open. Now if you're coming from the other way from West 4th Street, you'll be uh, going past uh, Wahoo Drive and then you'll see this Dunkin Donuts sign. Aaron is right next to the Dunkin Donuts sign on the left. So, that's it. And you can look at his hours. They're, they're always Wednesday through Sunday, 10 to 8. And then we're going to go inside. And see, there's a sign here with this thing. And this is Aaron Winnie himself. He'll be posting this on his Facebook. And then you just walk around. And the first thing you see is the shelf here. A lot of toys. And here's his dollar section. And like I said, there's a lot of interesting things here that not many people know about. And we're going to explore every room and everything, like right here. Here's Lego figures. He sells them for $4.99 a piece. And he, he has a lot of them. And then we got this new shelf here. I'll try to show everything so in case one of you is looking for something in particular, that um, you may see it. Here's a Harry Potter witch's broom. And again on the very bottom of this shelf. And you got the nice like Scarface light along with uh, Inuyasha Faduka cards. A lot of Pokemon stuff here. They said he has a very good variety of Pokemon. These ain't marbles, these are projection marbles. You see on the left, that's the projector, and you put the marbles in the projector, and onto the wall you'll see your Pokemon. And then here's the Pokemon cards themselves. These are hard to get. I believe you got these from Burger King. Yeah. Like I said, he has a variety. And then here is a Brave Maximus. He's one of the very rare uh, Transformers. Um, his counterpart is Fortress Maximus. Um, if you're wondering, he is asking a hefty price of two fifty nine ninety nine, but it's it's worth it. And then there's a he has a bunch of GI Joe. I forgot to mention more than I could ever believe. Right here is a Bay of Blades set. Uh, I know a lot of you people like Bay of Blades. Just to let you know, there's a whole tub of Bay of Blades in here. And just make your way to Pez dispensers. More G.I. Joe. Okay. And then on the bottom here is an Odyssey in box. If for all you Odyssey collectors. Or if you really want, we got this nice adding computer complete in box. Uh, like it says super rare, three ninety I'll let you zoom in on that. The Legos. I really want you all to get a good feel of the store because I understand some of you don't just like going to a store 
And you want to know what's there before you go so you don't feel like you're wasting your time. Until you're not wasting your time here. Now here's his Power Rangers. He has a lot of Power Rangers. Right there, there's one of the Power Ranger uh, bears I believe he's supposed to be. Now we got, we're getting to the Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. And again, like I said, uh, they're pretty uh, well priced here for Matchbox cars. He's a uh, dollar ninety nine per car, unless otherwise priced. Mm hmm. Then the Hot Wheels. Like in here, this is nine ninety nine. You get the NASCAR series. Oh, there's a little bit of everything everywhere. Here's the main part of the shop, if you can see. And I'll be showcasing that in a moment. We're just going from room to room, like I said. This is the rock and roll room. If you love rock and roll, there's a little bit of everything in here for you. We got uh, stuff from Billy Idol, from Kiss, Bon Jovi, and so on. I know the light is like hurting this picture, but the one on top of there is a Twisted Sister poster. There's your Bon Jovi rat. Again, over here to uh, all this and Peter Chris. Ozzy Osbourne, great white. All these wonderful posters here, Anthrax, Dio, Kiss, more Kiss, this is awesome. Here's the Psycho Circus one that is a personal favorite of mine because I'm a big Kiss fan, more Kiss. He has plenty of Kiss. Um, let's just take the time to look at them. I know this sideways, but... Any big rock and roll collector here, you understand and you'll respect. Here's a nice, another great white poster. Here's Cinderella. And then, here's one for you. I think this is the Grateful Dead. I could be wrong. This is the Anthrax pile. A Motley Crue poster. And then White Snake. Now most of these pictures are four ninety nine, but otherwise they're priced. The doesn't include the uh, all the uh, frames. Right here, this is hard to see. This is Slaughter poster. And then right here, Cream. Along with some more cars. You got Elf Doll. And then here's some good. Here's the mask. Here. And this is Quiet Riot. Original Quiet Riot. Here's an autographed uh, Kid Rock picture. There's Kids Meets the Phantom. Here's Kiss Story. And this is autographed by all four members of Kiss. That's Peter Chris, Jim Sims, Paul Stanley. And Ace Fraley. Then here, our poster right in the corner, or right in the corner of our record. Then there's lots of pins, memorabilia here. And you got lots of uh, playing, they're not playing cards, but uh, cards of all bands. And bon Jovi, Firehouse, Adio, and so on. There's quite a variety of stuff here if you didn't notice. Then again, Warrant, Aerosmith pictures. Huh. 
Pumping Iron by Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of my personal favorite movies. Megadeth, a uh, comic book, Tales from the Crypt, all these garbage peel kids. Uh, this is actually a poster, or stickers, I believe. Uh, Goldfinger, record. Then these are book covers here. Then you got glasses. And Camel, if anyone remembers Smoking Joe. Uh, Homer Simpson watch. Uh, let me show you it so you get a good idea. I really just want you all to see what he has because, like I said, I know how much of you people don't like to come out and just look at stuff first. And here's another picture if you can see it. And then there's another White Snake poster right there. You get your Freddy Krueger there. Hess truck. Videotapes. And some more some X-Men stuff. Uh, actually a lot of X-Men stuff. Uh, posters here. Marvel for comic books. Let me get you a good look at right here. Now, excuse me, this video may cut out because I think there's a limit on the time frame of how long it's on. Right next to E.T. If you're a big Pee Wee Herman fan, here's Pee Wee Herman Color Forms playset. And, uh, oh, here's a Cars TV. It's a Rusty's 95 Cars TV. It does work. And then, like, it's in the corner here. And then there's just this random doll here, too. Now, here's fun. This is the Batman section. Big old Batman there. War toys. And this was just added today, the Batman Arkham Knight Edition, which includes the DLC for Red Hood. It also comes with the DLC for Cat, or Batgirl, and uh, I believe Poison Ivy. I mean Harley Quinn, it's Harley Quinn. Uh, an original Star Trek artwork painting. You can see the price there. Very hard to find by a well-known artist here. You see the name. Then you got Batman. And this is the semi-antique room, everything else room. There's a lot of flags here and uh, some shirts. Third Rock from the Sun, really good. You also carry just a random box of comic books. Phones. Uh, Star Trek uh, whole series, I believe VHS tapes there. And you got this right here. Talking Battleship here. More Star Trek. Uh, I believe these are, yeah, Call Me House videos. Our Gang. A whole bunch of Mad Magazines. You got Ghostbusters 2. Awesome. Ninja Turtles. Here. You can go through some of the Mad Magazines. Garbage Pail Kids. That one. California Raisins, Fantastic Films, Virgil Superman, some X-Men cards, many other cards as well. Buttons of all sorts, Halloween mask, painting. Look again, I'm just going to fan over left and right. Just so you can see what there is. All these doll dolls here. Uh, most of them he have marked $39.99. Then uh, he has a little tool section too. He gets an occasion tools. 
it's better to just come in and, and, and see everything than to just look at the video but if you just want to watch a video I'm making sure you guys can see everything that he has up for sale now this just came in this is actually an official police light out of a cop car as you can see right here it says police right on it it works perfectly nothing wrong knocking over the Game Boy case yeah and then uh got these discs here what are these weird what are these again uh, yeah. we got all these select division discs there's, it has to be at least uh, 50 to 100 here if you're a select division collector there's a lot including Star Wars uh, also I got this case here what this is a hundred dollar case there's nothing in it as you can see great for a bow 99.99 you probably can't really read that Now here comes the fun part. Again, gonna go down. All these, all you see is for sale. A lot of more X-Men. Again, not people really people know what he has. They have a bunch of Mask and Jurassic Park figures here. There's a nice little uh, Dragon uh, Ball Z character. He used to be a uh, walkie-talkie, but missing his counterpart. Got Godzilla. Now this truck here is what it looks like when it's open here two mask trucks the same just one's open I'm just gonna go by one more time slowly so you'll see uh, also note look at this here Sky Commander's inbox. I really didn't realize how much stuff you have till I have to look at it. <laughs> Here's a bunch of mask figures. Your friends just arrived with a 24 pack of Miller Lite. Along with a few new friends to enjoy them with. Here's hoping we're right. Okay. Now, uh, on to the really cool section here. Um, we're starting the Star Wars section. This is a Darth Maul piggy bank. Um, you can connect these banks together. I believe there's three of them, and they fight together. And here's two of them right now. That's Obi-Wan and uh, Darth Maul. But I mean, like I said, his we're we're getting into it. We still got a little bit mixed. There's some baseball memorabilia right here. There you go. Elvin and the chipmunks. This comes the Star Wars section. Got this Terminator v, uh, collection here, limited edition. Mm -hmm. uh, if you didn't see that, there, Darth Maul mask. Here's a nice little. Uh, this is cool here. The Star Wars light lights right up. I'm still surprised that's here. And again, we'll go move down. More action figures. There's also a few posters hidden here too. Along as if you didn't see, there's the uh, please Death Star. 